In this video, I'm going to discuss the power of internal links on your site and share how to add them without any hassle. This is one of my sites and as you see, currently it contains 59 blog posts. Today I published one and I did not add any internal links here. Usually what I do, I'm going to take a look at the old posts and think what kind of links should I add. Then I have to write the anchor text or find ones. Then click on the add link button, add the link and repeat. It's a bit tedious, especially if you have to go through all the old posts. But instead of this, I'm going to show you a tool that allows you to add internal links in bulk. You can build links to a pillar posts using a topic cluster or you can create your own custom interlinking network. Or, as a simple example, let's open this one. I'm going to add a post. I would like to add links. The tool analyzes all my site content and says that the best scoring posts to link to. So, I'm going to click on it. It will generate me a text. I can either edit it by clicking here, changing the text, or if I'm satisfied with it, then I'm going to click on this button here, Click on update and done. Now you may ask, why are the internal links important? Well, not only do they help Google understand and rank your website better, but they also enhance user experience by providing a seamless journey from one relevant topic to another. So think of internal links as a key to boosting your SEO and keeping your audience engaged. Internal links serve as a well-constructed bridge seamlessly directing users towards the path of conversion. Also, internal links play a pivotal role in helping Google understand and rank your website effectively. So, by strategically placing links within your content and using descriptive anchor text, you're essentially giving Google a roadmap to navigate through your site. This not only tells the search engine which pages are crucial, but also provides insights into their content. So let's take a look at how to add those internal links with a couple of clicks, not only to your new posts, but also old posts. Now the tool is called LinkBoss. It's a fairly new plugin and it uses AI to help you create internal links. Currently it has a lifetime deal going on. That is, you'll get two site license and 200 credits per month for 69. It's for a lifetime, 4,000 credits per month for $497 and for $197 you'll get 1000 credits per month. Now you ask what you can do with one credit then take a look at the frequently asked questions. It says that if you're using post sentences then it's one credit per link and if you use smart internal link generator then it's two credits. Now those here are the official prices but if you take a look at the description of this video then there is a nice discount coupon for you. Just follow the link and you'll get a 5% discount. Now when the money talk is out of the way, let's take a look at how to set it up. I already added one site, but let's add another one so you can see what you can do with it. I'm going to add a URL here. Now let's create it. It's here. Let's configure it. First, let's download the plugin. Go to plugins, add new. And let's upload it, install it, activate it. Now you'll see a link boss menu down below here. Click on a settings. And now you need to add a API key. Your API key is here. Click on this copy icon here. Back to the settings, paste it here. And now click on save settings and sync. It's going to take a bit and the time depends on your site size. I'm going to click on prepare data. Now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Here's my site. If you see this orange configure button, then it's still syncing. If the button is blue and it says tools, then you can use the tools. You may have to refresh the page after 20 seconds or so. So let's open up the tools and you'll see five tools here. Inbound links, that is you can add internal links. Next one is outbound tool. You can build outbound internal links for a single post. Third one is silo. That is links to your pillar posts using topic cluster. Next one is network. That is you can create your own custom interlinking network. And fifth one is bulk tool. There is also a report. I'm going to open it up and it says that I have 16 pages, 59 posts, number of links, internal links, external links. And it says that currently I have nine posts that are orphans 
orphans are the post without any internal links, so I'm going to fix it. If you scroll down, then you'll see that those are the post without any internal links. Let's fix it by adding one for this one here. I'm going to click on add, choose the post. I can also search post if needed, but I'm going to choose from the orphans. You're going to also choose any other one, for example, this one here. And it says that no inbound links, 13 outbound links, that is, it links to other posts and two external links. If you click on those, you'll see what are the links. Since the topic is, is public speaking a weakness, the AI tells me that the best match for this post is the one with the title, is public speaking required in college? The score for it is 59. It seems reasonable. I'm going to select it. Now it offers me those five paragraphs with internal links. I'm going to read them through and choose which one I like the most. And I like the first one the most. So I can either add it to my post or I can edit it, save it and then add it to the post. Since I'm already satisfied with it, I'm just going to click on this button. It asked me for the confirmation. I can also force the location that is whether it's first or last. I'm going to add it to the last. And now I'm going to click on update. It says change will take maximum 59 seconds and done. And now if I take a look at this link, it says that it has one inbound link. If I open up the post itself and scroll down, then you'll see this is the text with the link to this post. Can't get easier than that, isn't it? So this was the inbound tool. Next, let's open up the bulk tool. Let's create a new bulk. It highly recommends to take the website backup just in case I already did it. Now I can fetch the post from the different categories. For example, let's take a look at this one here. It says it has three orphans. I'm going to add those here. It says that bulk cannot be less than five or more. Okay. Let's take a look at this one here. It has also one orphan and this one has one orphan. I can also add URLs manually. Just click here, open up a link, add it here and now click on submit. If you need to delete it, then just click here. Now when this is done, I'm going to click on submit. It says that it has a duplicate URLs. Okay, let's fix it. Now I'm going to click on submit and it displays me a bulk linking table. I can add my own anchor text or I can leave it as it is. To keep it short, I'm going to leave it as it is, but you can add your own anchor text. For example, read this article. Now you can select the location, whether it's before the last H2 section, before second to last or third to last. I'm going to add it before to last H2 section, whether it's Gothenburg editor or classic editor. And now I'm going to submit. It says table row must be selected. Now I'm going to select the articles and click on submit once again. This one here displays the status, whether it's completed or in progress. And when it's done, then you'll see the anchor text. You can delete it or leave it as it is. And this was a bulk tool. Next one is a silo tool. In order to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to go through this one here, but it allows you to add a pillar post. For example, let's imagine that this one here is a pillar post. And now I can add up to 15 other posts that link to this pillar post. This way it will give the SEO juice to this pillar posts and it's really easy to build it. So let's do a quick demo. I'm going to add a couple of URLs here. Click on submit. It's my target table. I can choose a target post. This one here and this one here. Same with this one and this one. And lastly, this one here. Let's submit it. And if I click on the visualize button, it will show me the nice graph. I can see that this one here is my pillar post. And those are the posts that are linking to this post here. Easy peasy. Next one is a network. You can create your own content network for a keyword, for example, stage fright. Let's search. Those are the suggested posts. I'm going to select some, submit it. And the same process as before. I'm going to skip this part. 
that is also an outbound tool in a similar way as we did before you can create outbound links but since I already covered the process I'm gonna skip this part now if you have watched my previous plugin reviews then you know that I also test a support system yesterday I tested their support system I opened up the chat asked the question and within the five minutes I received an answer that solved my issue so support is also really good now to sum it up Building internal links is one way to improve your SEO, but there are some things you can do that send your site to the SEO hell. I have made a video about seven mistakes that can send your site to SEO hell. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to watch this one also. In the meantime, take care.